So far, you've done a good job driving with normal traffic, but let's talk about some specialty vehicles you may encounter. So there are certain types of vehicles you'll want to pay special attention to, such as bicycles, motorcycles, emergency vehicles, and buses, each with their own set of behaviors. Bicycles and motorcycles are unique vehicles. Not only are they more vulnerable in a crash, but because of their smaller size, they can be difficult to spot. A bicycle or motorcycle can readily be hidden by another car. They also more easily fit into your blind spots. And even when you can see them, it may be difficult to determine their speed or predict their actions because they're capable of different maneuvers than other vehicles. There are specialty vehicles, such as buses and taxis, which make frequent stops and return to the road regularly. There are specific laws regarding some specialty vehicles, like with school buses, for instance, you are required to stop when its lights are flashing, and you cannot continue until the bus's stop sign is retracted and the lights are turned off. You may continue once the bus shuts off its lights, but still keep an eye out for children. Even if a bus is coming the other way, you're still required to stop until its lights stop flashing. Postal vehicles have a special purpose that requires them to make frequent stops and drive outside the flow of traffic. In addition, postal workers often have to exit their vehicle, so when approaching a postal vehicle, keep an eye out for the driver as well as the movement of the vehicle. Give them plenty of room by slowing down and moving over as far as possible. Always keep an ear out for sirens. You'll most likely hear an emergency vehicle long before you see it. There are specific laws regarding emergency vehicles. You're required to pull over as far as possible, even if the emergency vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction. If the emergency vehicle is coming up from behind you, don't panic. Simply find a safe place to pull over as quickly as possible. And keep in mind, other vehicles will be trying to do the same thing.
trucks offer a special challenge. They're big, so they're easy to spot, but in turn, their size makes it difficult for them to see you. Trucks have blind spots, some of which are large enough to completely hide your vehicle from the driver's view. Take a look at the graphic. These blind spots are often referred to as no zones because they're areas you want to avoid. There are times, of course, when you need to enter a no zone in order to pass. When you do, spend as little time there as possible. Try passing these trucks. Pass through the no zone quickly, but without speeding. Exit here. Especially in cities, you'll often find delivery trucks double parked. There are no special rules regarding delivery trucks, but be aware of pedestrians walking around them and check your mirrors before changing lanes. Alright, pull over here and shut down your vehicle. Pull over as soon as you can. Remember to follow the specific laws regarding emergency vehicles and school buses. For all other special vehicles, be aware of the way they move and the best way to act around them. 